Hey you guys, my name is Megan Tron and welcome back to Let's Play To The Moon. Now in the last episode we saw the wishing machine get set up and we saw Johnny and we were told now to snoop around the house and find out more about said Johnny. So let's get a snooping. Apparently the kids are downstairs. Let's see what Lily has to say, if she has anything else to add. Tommy and Sarah can take you around the house if you need any assistance. They're probably downstairs at the piano. It's the same thing we said last time, I think. Doctor? Does Doctor have anything to say? He is unresponsive at this point. But by the looks of it, uh, by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Perhaps. But I want to snoop. Shoot. Go do your detective work. Okay. Maybe I will. Can I get down to the... Can I go this way? Yes, I can. Difficult, but I can. Hopefully the mic is less pitchy this time around. I think I may have gotten it right. Ooh, I can do a light. And another light. If we can get to the light. No, on. I think we need it on. Is there anything of value down here? Can we grab the... No, it's just drawers and paintings. Also, I think this video is going to be slightly longer because I've decided to record using my cell phone rather than my camera, just until I get enough memory for my camera to do more than 17 minutes of recording. Huh. Yeah, let's go back downstairs to the kids. Maybe they have something interesting. Oh. And I go in completely the wrong direction, but see something anyway. Casual painting of three people. That's what that's it. What are you? A painting of an animal of some sort. Okay, so we've got three children. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. How delightfully precise. Painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. I think I saw that earlier in the game. Well, on the start screen, obviously, but also earlier in the game. I think when I walked up the side. Huh. Wait, come back here for a moment. Is that his? I have something for you. Like I said, voice acting is a no, can't voice. Here, take this. Received, remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks, I was just going to ask for it. Sure you were, sure. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. I have a menu? Where's my... Oh, escape, characters, notes, items. Oh, there's the monitor. That heartbeat, though. Not the greatest, I don't think. Description connects wirelessly to the patient's local monitor for live supervision. Hmm. And he thinks it's going to flatline at some point soon. Okay. So if that's the menu. I hope I don't click exit game by accident. That could go horribly wrong. Huh. Down the stairs we go. Oh, and they're still playing. It's... Let's talk to you guys. What do you want? Show me around the house, please. I am very lost, even though I love snooping. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe? Yeah, maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. You little brat. Fair enough. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. Uh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars. <laughs> I'd like to. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. I think that's, I'll go for that one. That seems a bit more reachable. Yeah, or that. Huh? There is a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Mom put it there to save us for when we do, for, uh, to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour around the house. What do you say? Well, 
Sure, I'll go get it for you. My mother used to keep candies on high shelves too. All right, I will get it. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go. Don't make me change my mind, kid. Hmm. Is it this way? I heard a door. I think that must have been the garage door. Lovely living with family. Yes, I don't know. Oh, this is another bathroom. Like I said, I'm completely lost. Oh well. Turn on and store tap water. Is that going to be important? Let's store some tap water. I don't know, am I going to have to pick up certain things in this game? I don't quite... Hmm. Under the bread then. Is my adventure going to be dangerous and I must take something with me? It's dangerous to go alone and take that baguette. The kitchen's at the other door. Thank you. Go inside anyways? Mm, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, it's a study. No, it's a stu- Oh, it's both. It's a studio and a study. If he does art, I'm good with that. I'm an art student, so... Instantly, I like this guy. Whoever's lying in the bed, I like this guy. Almost stepped on the paint. I do that a lot, too. Considering my room is full of art supplies. Jump from the door to the bed. That's how you get in there. Dusk light. The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. I bet the teens of this day will go crazy over that. Let's read that passage. Uh, maybe another year. <laughs> yeah. 2016 teen young adult girls. But didn't warm bodies already do something similar? Yeah, except not the smell of daisies. Read passage. The Emperor's New Clothes. Oh, I like that one. And the colours, the colours of that beautiful fabric. I have never seen anything like it in my life. They all try to conceal their disappointment at not being able to see the colours. A child, however, who had no important role and could only see things as his eyes showed them to him, went up to the carriage. But he hasn't got anything on, the child said. Don't talk nonsense, his father reprimanded. But the boy's remark, which had been heard by bystanders, was repeated over and over. That's actually a very good story. Did we see this? A Pilgrim's Guide to Origami. The key to avoiding paper cuts. Yes, please. I need that. The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami has already uh, supplanted the great Wikipedia Origamia as the standard repository of all knowledge and wisdom about paper folding. For though it has many omissions and contains much that is ap apocryphal, I need to look that up. Or at least wildly inaccurate, it scores over the older, more pedestrian work in two important respects. First, it is made of paper. And secondly, it provides numerous band-aids to make up for the inevitable paper cuts resulting from reading of this book. How can it tell me anything helpful? For the Grand Origami Master, it is absolutely essential for each origami to be completed in exactly 42 moves. In most origami tournaments, scissor cuts are considered cheating, but uppercuts are deemed legal. Yeah, my crane! My paper crane! Let's see now. Anything in the desk? Anything on those shelves? Oh, we can sit down. Yes, someone is dying in the floor above, and we're going to sit on the couch. How is that even an option? There should be like a timer saying, hurry up, he's broken. Kitchen. Now this is the kitchen door. I hope. There's that candy cane. Can we reach it? No, we can't. Just like me. I can't reach it. I can't. What did that say? What did the pop-up say? I don't know. I missed it. So like me actually playing this game, we are doing the next couple of moves also blind. Oh, we can push that. Yeah. Persistence. Patience and persistence. Terrible calories. 
Okay. Little, little bit. Anything else of interest in here? Nope. Let's go give the kitties a candy cane. Oh. Okay, I got what you wanted. Good old... Oh, it's just got an icon. Good old candy cane. <laughs> if you come and give me a tour at this instant, I won't sneeze on it. Jeez. It's like parenting the easy way. Okay, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. That sounds very interesting. I don't like that funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see. No, I don't. It's weird. Please don't let it be amnesia. We need to get the keys though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Back to the study. I knew one of those books was going to be important. This is the book room. But it's got an art thingy over there and a disc over there. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Of which shelf? Put it back. The tail of the okay. Uh, maybe another year. Received. Rookie! Yay! He chose its hiding spot. Wow. <laughs> the book that no one is ever going to read. Besides maybe the horribly curious. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Until one day I threw one back and he needed a band-aid. <laughs> Just a bunch of books in here. They're nothing I don't know about though. Well, they've nothing I don't know about though. Good on you, kid. Basement. We can open the funny room in the basement now. Uh, are we going to come face to face with the necromorph? This is the basement. We play hide and seek in here. Obviously not. Turn on the light before you trip over something. It's getting to the light that's the problem. A dusty pile of Animorphs books. <laughs> Animorphs. I remember those books. I loved those books so much. Oh my goodness. The chest is locked. Of course it is. I wonder where the key is going to be though. The cabinet is filled with dusty books. And a key? The cabinet is filled with unused fine china. Is there a key in the teapot? You make key. Box is filled with coloured papers. But no key. The chest is locked. Box is filled with coloured... Yeah. Where is the key? Oh, maybe I'll have to talk to the little children. They look like twins. Once we were down here and the lights were out and Tommy fell down those stairs. Obviously, he chipped a tooth, but that's okay because he's ugly to begin with. <laughs> you snooty little girl. We used to find all kinds of cool junks here. That grammar. Moldy books, moldy buckets, moldy cheese, you name it. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> the door to the funny room is right there. Oh right, we got the, the door is locked. Open the door with the room key. I thought the key unlocked. Never mind. It's like a cave in here. Oh my word, light switch. Oh. Oh no. That doesn't look good. Dot dot. Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh, it's origami. A rabbit folded out of paper. A broken music box. Oh no. A stuffed toy platypus. It looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. Let's take it. Oh, can we poke it? Items. Toy platypus. Oh, we can't do anything to it. Okay. Oh no, did I miss something? Broken music box. Can we do anything to the music box? 
My screen brightness is something awful. Okay. Did you see it? What do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There are more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse, just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys! Why do you have the keys? You aren't supposed to go in there either, are you? <laughs> Remind me to never take you to Neil's house. So, you wanna see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... Let's go see the lighthouse. You know what? Fine. Maybe it'll tell me more about those rabbits. Let's go check that old lighthouse out. Yeah, let's go check that old lighthouse. Who was this two again? Was it for River? Maybe that's the tune that can play on the music box. Mm, if it's broken, I don't know. I hope we're gonna find out. If we probably are, otherwise they wouldn't have put it there. Why? Why? Oh, these mechanics. There it is. We need to head south to, to the street and take the other part to get down to it, though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. You have a parachute. Or you're just sarcastic like I am. <laughs> In which case, maybe my like for you has gone up. Is this the way? I can't seem to remember these convoluted pathways. Oh right, the staircase, to which I was blind the first time around. Oh no! My novelty beach ball! Someone broke it! Ah, uh, it was stupid anyway. But, but it's the bestest novelty beach ball I ever had. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, could, who could have been so cruel? Me, I'm so sorry. Uh, look, I'll buy you another one. No, don't do it. You will? Yes. Yes, I will. I will. But we kind of need to get going now. Oh no, could I have just pushed it? I could have just pushed it out of the way, but no, I had to go for the stick. Oh, it's gonna, it is one of these games. I'm sorry, Tommy. Oh, uh, look, the car is still there. It's smoking. Yes, it is. Who's the dummy that crashed the car? Not me, not this time round, boy. It's pretty dark out. Aren't you kids scared? Of course not. We roleplay it anyway. What? Tommy's a super powerful knight and I'm a mighty magician. Yeah, we destroyed all evil. My children are standing in a 16-bit game. Those are going to be my kids someday. Oh, that's, uh, that's nice. Do you roleplay too? I, uh, no. Yeah, that's a question because me, I do. She's not cool enough to do it. Hey, I could if I wanted to. Just you children watch. Yes. I shall be the mighty mercenary guide. Ooh, a squirrel. Oh no, it's a terrible squirrel gone. Is there fighting in this? Oh. Don't worry, children. I'll protect you. There is fighting in this. <laughs> the, the best defense is a good offense. World volcanic jump kit. World wind staff. Oh my god! And first shoot. Let's shoot. Yelling volume loudest. Your uh, time is at an end, squirrel gone. I'm sorry again. Yeah, she'll call the cops on you. What? I was just, I wasn't gonna. I was. Didn't you say you like role play? Oh, it worked. There goes the squirrel. You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's tame a teddy. Okay. 
let's just forget this happened. Let's just forget this happened. Oh my goodness. Lighthouse. Okay. That was a pretty short walk for something that appeared so far away. And I think I'm actually going to end this episode right there. So thank you so much for coming. And if you've enjoyed it, again, show the like button just a little, little, little bit of love. And as usual, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.